Hello Taurus and welcome to your weekend predictions reading. Let's go ahead and see what messages there are for you for the weekend ahead. I hope you had a great week Taurus and that you're staying well and safe. Oh, did you see that? Let's have a look. Coffin. Coffin is telling me that there is something in your life that is not moving forward. Much like the hangman, stagnancy, non-activity. It could be that something has ended recently. Next up, we have a letter possibly correspondence with somebody somebody that you may have been writing to um, this is basically you know just writing a letter or an email even texts okay with the written word expectation all right so obviously there is somebody that you haven't heard from in a while and you're expecting to hear from them okay Possibly even somebody that recently you ended either a friendship, a relationship or a situation with. The feminine, this could be you Taurus or this could be a feminine around you. This is somebody who is so distracted from her book that she is looking out the window whimsically. She's got a rosebud and she's blushing which is saying that she's got some feelings for somebody. Next, we have the stalks, which is a development, a growth, something that has wings. Okay, so if this is a message from somebody far away from you, perhaps this could be someone saying that they're coming towards you, they're catching a plane, helicopter, you know, um, basically flying towards you alternatively you know to get something off the ground okay just expecting something to get off the ground you haven't had any activity from it maybe it's been a quiet period or you just haven't heard from someone waiting anticipating expectation expectation kind of messages between lovers this is about communication however with the birds card it's all about the spoken word as opposed to the written word so this is expecting a phone call okay facetiming or even to meet face to face to talk about something so it's quite an interesting weekend taurus now let's go ahead and clarify these for you and have a look further into it. Wow, that was interesting. So we have the tower and ooh, Ace of Cups. That's a nice tower to have. The Ace of Cups with the tower is unexpectedly falling in love. Literally, <laughs> unexpected life change. And with the Ace of Cups, it's about love, unexpectedly falling in love. It's almost like um, this love literally changes everything, okay? That is with the coffin. Next up, we have the sun. So it could be a Leo and the tower is Aries Scorpio energy. The sun, vibrant, happy, this is successful, okay, a writing to you about some kind of success, victory, triumph, okay, could be someone that is trying to break free from a situation because the sun can also indicate about breaking free from something, all right, so... And the death card, Scorpio energy. So the death is, even though it's it looks morbid and dark, it's not really. The death card is actually one of my favorites because it's got the Hierophant in there. It's got the sun 
the sun it's got the fool's white rose indicating where a door op uh, closes a window opens okay it's got the empress there and the empress symbolized by the water flowing meaning new life and the sun sun child there as well okay and the death is carrying actually and that is also just to show you the same horse it's interesting isn't it how the um the tarot it all kind of intertwines and this is really about you know with the hierophant standing upright your faith will get you through your belief your trust your faith so in this situation uh, you may be called to keep the faith taurus now for the feminine taking steps forward towards a new beginning okay so the feminine taking steps forward she may be planning she may be anticipating new things whether it's about business whether it's about love something getting off the ground moving towards success something that is fulfilling heartfelt it does indicate a romantic venture with the lovers here the lovers communicating the birds getting off the ground hearing word of success okay and expecting a transition your faith will get you through taking steps forward suddenly falling in love after a period of non-activity the queen of pentacles now if you are the feminine this could be you if you're the masculine it could be a feminine around you now the queen of pentacles has a strong business energy she's all about taking care of the family providing uh, a great business advisor as well somebody who um, may be a working parent okay um, also a business owner okay or striving to uh, improve their finances with business okay now the lovers in communication with the hermit hermit could be a virgo it could also be someone that enjoys their own company somebody that's you know stays indoors a fair bit works in their garden you know just likes to potter around at home doesn't really like getting out in crowds has a very small group of friends um, and they kind of tend to be very intuitive and spiritual even though they might not realize they are but they may say things that's like wow that's really deep um, and it comes from a very intuitive place so they are in fact very spiritual even though they might not realize it straight up okay so let's have a look what amira's love oracle has for you taurus what does the weekend have in store with love for my taurus what does the weekend have in store for my taurus in love Ooh, there we go all right we have oh a triangle i was not expecting that sometimes a triangle indicates a choice in love other times another situation that is getting in the way that may be why a non-activity has come in in regards to the ace of cups with the tower something happened to create a standstill with love perhaps someone you haven't heard of from in a while now past life connection wow and one more let's have a look destiny wow they're really big cards uh, very heavy energy actually with destiny because destiny could mean anything from a karmic to a twin flame to a soulmate okay soul pod there's so many different destined connections past life it means that you've had lifetimes with this partner however there is something or someone standing in the way of you being together let's get some guidance quickly 
what guidance does your angels and guides have in regards to this? I feel a distance is in between you. Um, let me know if that is the situation. Empress, how beautiful. Empress is the mother. Also, if it's not a mother, it's really about someone who is very loving and nurturing, very healing, caring, new life. Also, abundance. If this is more a business situation, the triangle could be competition in regards to getting uh, what you want in business okay for instance like too many people competing for the same role at work or something likened to that the empress could just be saying that um, you may be um, prime choice in this matter uh, because Empress is all about abundance, a very competent energy, very loving and nurturing. She's Venusian, so she may also be, you know, in a love reading, the ideal partner, and your person sees you as such. So overall, it's quite a positive reading. However, it doesn't give a conclusion. It's just talking about a scenario. And if this was your situation, you can always hit like, comment below. Let me know what. how does this resonate with you. Um, it does look like a, we a good weekend though. And it looks like you will be hearing from your person by the end of the weekend. All right, Taurus, I hope that this gave you some guidance and light. And as always, I send you love. Bye for now.